What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I've got another money method for you guys and it is in Valentine. I know I've done a lot of videos in Valentine over the last week but I've been finding so many different methods and coming across ones that I did months and months ago and realizing that they still work. They still work but people aren't using them despite them being very good. Now right now I'm in Valentine and there is no one else here. There's no blue blips or anything like that. The closest red blip is is all the way over in Rhodes and if you want in fact no take that back it's in the heartlands uh, but if you want that what I did is I spawned over in this area and then fast traveled all the way up to Valentine that's why the red cursor is there you could do the exact same thing and that will get rid of anyone else in that area so you won't be griefed and you can carry on doing this method peacefully for the past couple of methods what we've been doing is traveling way out this method is so much closer what you want to do is come over to here now before we go over there Go and get yourself a second horse. That is my horse right there called Nightmare, absolute legend. The horse that I'm on though, I just stole it, went into the Heartlands, got rid of all the guards and police that were after me, and then came back to go and do this intro. So we're gonna go and head to that location, and I'll be back in a bit. So this is the location that you want to come to, and right over here, right beside this rock over here, this is gonna be the spot that we go to. But before we do anything, Bring your horse over to here, just close to the tree, and you should be able to hitch it. The reason you're hitching it is because it isn't your horse. If that runs off, you cannot get it back. You need to go and find yourself another horse. And down here, not that many people come to this location. So uh, you just I'm just going to show you one more time. This is the location that you want to come to. You'll have your horse and also a second horse. And then after that, you're going to go over to this, this rock right here. You can stand on it, bring out your fishing rod. And then I've, I think I just bought some worms, so I should have some worms in there. If not, use crickets as well. Anything like that is perfectly fine. And as soon as that happens, you should have some fish spawn in over here. Now, the fish we're looking for, there's one just there, is the different types of pike. Now, you can also get pickerel in this location. Uh, it doesn't seem like any spawned in. They might spawn in when I go and chuck my fishing rod in, which, why isn't it letting me? Okay, there we go. There we go. So we're just going to throw it in this area right here. And it shouldn't take too long to go and get this pike. This one's swimming right past. Is it going to go for it? Hey, do, do you want to get this? Do you want to get this, buddy? Do, there we go. There we go. Does not take too long to go and get these fish if you throw it in the right direction. You wait for your controller to stop vibrating. And then you go and reel it in. The good thing about this location is because it's so tight, because it's in the river, if you can get it close to this place uh, or where you're standing this rock, what will happen is it will just swim ashore and you can just go and pick it up. So that is a good thing. For this one though, it looks like we're going to have to reel it in. And right now I'm struggling. It looks like, is it stuck? It feels like it's stuck on something. It is just not moving at all. But you don't have to do too much to get close to you. Okay, we're getting close to now. It should be coming in right now. There we go. So what normally happens, we actually got very unlucky with the location of which those pikes just spawned in. Uh, what normally happens, and it, it happens more often than not actually, is that a uh, pike will spawn right in front of you, right here or to the right. And what you have then is the current sort of forcing it to your location, which makes things a lot easier. But with the first pike, what you're gonna go and do is go over to your second horse and just go and chuck that on the back there. And then we're gonna go and get another, uh, another, another pike as well. Now there was another one and there it is. There's the pike. This one's gonna be a lot better. Uh, and in fact, we got three here. Three pike in this location have spawned in, and there has also been some smaller fish spawned in. But this is where the pike goes. So what you want is just to chuck it a bit further, just a bit out, and then reel that in nice and slow, not too fast, otherwise it will just sort of pull it back into you. And then we should be able to just go nice and slow, get that pike there, and what happens is that. That's, that's what normally happens. I did not have to reel it in whatsoever. I didn't even have to spin it around once. What normally happens is that there's so many pike there that as soon as you bring it in and because of the rock, because of the height, you can just sort of pull it straight out. The first one we got very, very unlucky with that. But now that we've got two fish in our back, we can't carry on more. One day, one day, I'm hoping that we can go and get, say, horses that can carry more than just one carcass or a wagon. I'm praying for wagons in the second title update. But for now, what you we, what we gotta do is go and take these back to the butchers. And because of this location, we are there. The butchers are right there. This takes less than a minute, less than a minute to travel to this location. If 
you, you may have a problem with the horse that you're on depending on the stamina because stamina with horses that you just get from out of nowhere is pretty bad. Now, why isn't my other horse following? It should be following. I feel like it's stuck on something, which it should not be happening. Hello, horsey. What are you doing, mate? What, where are you going? Come on, man. Follow me. Nightmare. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. So make sure that your second horse doesn't get stuck on anything. I'm not sure it's too much of a problem because it's your second horse. Things should stay on the back of your horse no matter what now. You could even fast travel with your horse. And you have carcasses and different stuff, different, uh, different birds. Whatever you put on your horse will stay on your horse, which is actually very good. So now that we're over here, this may be a problem because my horse is in a way. No, it isn't. That's fine. And we should be able to go and sell a Northern Pike. We've got a Pickerel as well. But we should be able to... Okay, the other horse just despawned. That was not supposed to... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. For this one... What you need to do is go and take the pike off it. It doesn't sort, it doesn't register as it uh, for when going into the butcher. So you need to go and take it off the back of your horse and then go over and then that is when you can sell it. And from that, we managed to go and get $17. Uh, two for the pike, two pikes, that was going for $8 each. And then uh, we also had a pickerel. Pickerel was just in my satchel already, so we're not gonna cross that, but we got $16 in no time. And I just went on the wrong horse, which was my fault, but we're going to go back, go and get the other horse, and then we're going to go and travel back to the location, and I'm going to quickly show you this method again. So with the horse, all we have to do is go over here, and it is not too far. Once you do this method quite a bit, you'll get used to the location, and you will never have to go and open up uh, your map again, but it's just down here, and then just round this corner here. So it's not far at all, and my horse isn't traveling with me again, but it should be able to catch up. But once you get around here, just go all the way to the end, right beside this big rock, it's easy to find, go over to the tree, and then go and hit your horse. Just hold Y on it, and it will hit your horse to the tree. It does take a bit more time, can't just jump off, but it's safe. It is all good now. And now, we should have fish spawn in. We've got a little fish over there, and the big fish haven't spawned in just yet, so what we're going to do is we're just going to wait, we're going to put some worm on, uh, on our fishing line, and we're gonna wait here. If pikes do not spawn in, and most of the time they do, uh, what you should do is just go and chuck your line in or go and fish for the other small fish around here. Okay, so we got one fish and then instantly free spawned in, free spawned in. Yet again, it's not in the best location because we are gonna have to reel those in a bit, but I fished for one fish, one little perch, and now we have three pike that spawn in. So if fish do not spawn in, don't panic, don't worry about it, just go and fish, carry on fishing, chuck your line in, and then fish will spawn. No matter what, every time, every time fish will spawn in. And a good thing here is that I think those pike have just swum a bit closer to me, so we should be able to pull that, and then instantly we go and bring that in. So that pike did us a favor by swimming in the correct spot. We're gonna go and put that on the other horse, but that is a good one. That is a good and quick one. Hopefully, Whilst we're going to go and put this on our horse over here, the uh, the other pikes, or at least one other pike, will go and swim a bit closer to me so that I don't have to reel it in. But even if you have to reel it in, it doesn't take too long. They're not miles and miles away. Uh, you'll probably have to, you know, spend like a, a minute, maybe 30 seconds to go and get the pike. Uh, but most of the time, like I said, they sort of swim into you and you're good. You just sort of have to pull like a little tug towards you and then... Um, that, that pike just beaches itself. You can go and pull that straight out, which is good. And this one, I don't know, we might have to reel it a couple times, but it's not too far away. And we actually threw that a lot further than what was needed. I don't know why I did that. So we're going to go and reel that in. And where is it? It's, let's go and bring, there we go. Instantly, instantly, did not take too long at all. In fact, that one was perfect as well. I thought we was going to have to reel that in a few times. Nope, not at all. We did not even have to do anything. So the, uh, the radius around this rock is uh, is pretty decent where uh, you don't have to reel it in. It's quite a big radius and it just saves you so much time, which is what makes this method so good. But we got that on both of our horses. It did not take too long whatsoever. We was here for what? It must be less than five minutes. Less than five minutes we were here. Did not take too long at all. Go and get our other horse. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for it to catch up because it seems like when you pre when you whistle... Your horse just, I don't know what happens, it just gets caught on every little rock. 
and then we're gonna go over to the butcher did not take long whatsoever like i was saying we had to be less like less than five minutes i i probably didn't even have to cut it that much there because uh the, the fish didn't spawn in straight away we fished we got one little perch which i'll show you once we get to the butchers and then uh as soon as we got that did not take too long to reel that in and uh, we then uh, instantly pikes spawned in and we didn't even have to reel in the pike which is even better now I'm hoping no one here will grieve me we can just go over to here go and sell the perch which is what we got we then get the northern pike which is on our other horse and then we also have this one just here so we're gonna go and take that off the back and there we go there will be another eight dollars coming in easy as now sometimes when there are quite a few people around this area the butchers does bug out a bit you'll find it quite a lot if you play red dead online as much as i do that butchers sometimes you'll come over it and the butcher's just standing on his counter and you can't interact with him it just sort of bugs out that normally only happens when there's too many people in one location and it just messes up like i said to avoid that spawn in tumbleweed saint denise somewhere like that somewhere completely far away from valentine and then fast travel all the way to valentine that will make sure that not too many people are in there but valentine is a popular location we came over here earlier at the start of this method there was no one over here this method has lasted not too long and now there's a ton of people over here so uh you just need to be wary of that that's the only problem with this method but other than that this method is absolutely amazing i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya